Hello guys, today I will be talking about the important question that are asked from the general physiology unit as well as the blood unit of physiology during the examinations of the first year MBBS. So, first of all, I will talk about the important question that are asked from the general physiology unit of physiology. The first chapter that we encounter in general physiology is structure and function of cell. From this chapter, short note on lysosome, short note on fluid mosaic model, differences between gap and tight junction is an important question. Example of positive feedback regulation is also an important question. Now moving on to the next chapter that is transport across cell membrane. From this chapter, diagram of sequence of events involved in exocytosis as well as endocytosis is asked. Diagram of sodium potassium pump as well as short note on sodium potassium pump is generally asked. Short note on secondary active transport is also important question. Short note on dysfunctions of phagocytosis is also important. Short note on calcium as second messenger, mechanism of transfer of substances across membrane and facilitated diffusion can be asked. Moving on to the body water and body fluids. From this, question, from this chapter, only one question is likely to be asked that is uh, normal values and clinical significance of plasma osmolality. Now the chapter membrane potential. From this chapter, the question asked are why calcium is needed for membrane stability? Normal values and clinical significance of equilibrium potential of sodium and potassium. What happens and why to excitability of nerve and muscle in hypocalcemia? This is a very important question. Short note on Gibbs Donan membrane equilibrium and uh, Gibbs Donan effect. These two are not important questions. Short note on resting membrane potential is important. The genesis of resting membrane potential is also important. Phases of action potential is also important. Ionic basis of excitation and conduction in nerve is also important. A strength duration curve is also important. Define coronaxi and real base and the difference between graded and action potential both are important. Now moving on to the unit blood of physiology. The first chapter that we encounter here is composition and functions of blood. From this chapter generally normal values and clinical significance of the following are asked. Albumin globulin ratio, serum cholesterol, serum creatinine, serum sodium, serum calcium, Fasting and postprandial plasma glucose levels is asked. The next chapter is uh, plasma proteins. From this chapter, the questions are star. Short note on the functions of plasma protein. Not that important. Short note on Starling's forces is very important. Short note on C reactive protein is not that important. Normal values and clinical significance of uh, albumin globulin ratio and the conditions in which the, it gets reversed is generally asked and uh, on coating pressure can also be asked. Now moving on with uh, hemoglobin chapter. From this chapter, short note on oxyhemoglobin curve and uh, factors affecting it forms an important question from this chapter. Short note on fate of hemoglobin is also important. Disadvantages of free hemoglobin is not an important question. Short note on met hemoglobin is also not important. What happens and why fetal hemoglobin persists in adult life? This is an important question. If person with sickle cell anemia exposed to hypoxia, this is also important. And uh, use of nitrites for treating cyanide poisoning is also important. Moving on to the erythrocytes chapter. Define erythropoiesis, explain various stages and factors affecting erythropoiesis uh, is very, very important. Etiological and morphological classification of anemia is also very important. Short note on iron deficiency anemia and pernicious anemia is also important. Short note on blood changes at high altitude is also very, very important. What will happen and why? From this part, the blood picture in iron deficiency anemia is usually asked. Folic acid given in pernicious anemia is also an important question. Normal values and clinical significance of MCHC, MCH, ESR is also important. Now moving on to the jaundice and WBC chapter. From this chapter, differences between the three types of jaundice is very important. Short note on obstructive jaundice uh, is usually asked. Physiological jaundice uh, is also important. Short note on phagocytosis and eosinophils is also important. Short note on stages of lipopoiesis is not that important. From the platelets and coagulation of blood chapter, various questions framed are. Short note uh, on the functions of platelets is not that important. Short note on mechanism of hemostasis is important. Short note on extrinsic and intrinsic uh, mechanism of clotting is important. Questions like what happens and why can be asked on uh, to coagulation in vitamin K deficiency is important. Bleeding and clotting time in hepatocellular disease is also important. Conditions in which uh, 
platelet count is decreased is also asked. Explain why type questions can be asked on calcium deficiency doesn't produce coagulation defects is important. Vitamin K given in premature babies is also important. Bleeding tendencies in vitamin C deficiency is also important. Aspirin given in ischemic heart disease is also important. The next chapter is blood groups. This is an important chapter and uh, usually a lot of questions are asked from this chapter. Like uh, define land is thinner law, important question. RS blood group and incompatibility is also important. Blood transfusion and its complication is also important. Changes in stored blood is not that important. Explain why a pre-menopausal RH negative women should not be given RS positive blood is also important. Thank you.